Hi, I'm Christian Howe. Hi, and I'm Chris Reeve. And in this how-to, we're going to look at the broad range of Bowen's modifiers and reflectors and how you can achieve loads of different effects for your fashion portfolio. Fashion and beauty photography are two very separate areas, however they are often grouped together as a matter of commercial interest. Whereas beauty often sells a product and relies heavily on lighting, fashion can rely more heavily on attitude. However, both demand high technical ability and thoughtful lighting. So let's run through some of the shapers and modifiers available from Boeing's so you can really nail that shot. Let's kick off with a four light setup using the soft light reflector, a gel and barn doors and a couple of strip boxes to create the rim light to separate the model from the background. You may find that you will have to adjust or flag the strip lights to control the light in order to accommodate the space in which you're shooting. Try turning off the other lights to see where the rim light falls on the face of the model and ensure that it doesn't flare into the lens of the camera. So you can see that we're aiming to give the model's face more definition by highlighting the cheekbones with the strip lights. The soft light reflector is set up directly above the model to throw the shadows downwards and elongate the face. Set the power of your key light to about f11 and then with the strip lights set the power of them to between f5.6 and f8. You may well find you have to adjust those again as necessary depending on the skin tone of your model. So you have a model with darker skin you may well need more power on the strip lights. The power for your backdrop may well depend on the space you have, the amount of it you wish to light and the intensity of the colour you're after. In a small space, you may well find that light spilling from the soft light reflector causes the colour of the background to bleach a little, so you'll need to adjust the power of the gel as necessary. Right, let's take some test shots. Right, let's drop a light and attach a few soft boxes to the remaining three heads. I'm using one soft box to lift the model's hair from the background, the second to add a little fill light and the third light as a key. I'm going to start by setting the key light to about f11 and then metering the rest of the lights to create the effect I'm after. Adding a black backdrop will really help the model contrast against the background. OK, let's check this out for a final image. Basically, we're stuck with three lights, we've pulled the grey paper background down and we swapped one of the soft boxes with a set of barn doors and a red gel. I've removed the second soft box and replaced this with a honeycomb grid. This will light the back of the hair and shoulders of the model and add some separation from the strong background colour. As with the last setup, we've kept the single soft box, but this time we've placed it off camera axis but kept it up nice and high. That way it throws all the shadows down under the chin and creates a really strong jawline for the model. As for the hair light, the shinier and more pale the model's skin, the less light you'll need. Adjust it until you're happy, but try and retain all the highlight detail. Okay, time to meter up again. This time, approximately F11. As for the back light, okay, for the gel, the more colour you're on, the more power you need. That's it, let's shoot. There you have it, three great setups, three totally different looks. Okay, thanks for that Christian, great shots. Now let's have a look at a few tips to get you started. Focus on the model's eyes and maintain the outer focus look to the background. Either by using the lens wide open at say 2.8 or 1.4, or moving slightly further away and using a longer focal length, say 85 or 135 millimetre. Hair lights can be tricky. Blonde hair can burn out or overexpose very easily, while dark hair will absorb far more light than you think. This is definitely one to judge by eye. Using gels. Instead of using a white background where the gel comes out very rich, why not try a grey or a black one and it just gives a slightly different colour. Okay, if you don't have a light meter, don't panic. 
why not utilize the highlight function on the back of your digital camera? Just make sure if you're shooting with a white background that the white background is flashing and not your model. Hair and makeup really do set the scene. You don't necessarily need a professional makeup artist, but if you're trying this at home, just ensure that the model has a flat, soft, powder base to her face. A little blusher to define the cheeks, lipstick and simple eyeliner or eyeshadow. You don't need to overdo this. Less is more sometimes, but in the end, it really helps you create a professional image. There you have it. Loads of different ways with lots of different lights to really maximise your creative output. And don't forget to check us out on the Bowens website, look for Lightbook, and we'll see you next time on How To.